Did you hear it? It was a pretty rare start to our Saturday morning. I know Amy heard it here in the mm. studio. A boom causing commotion all over. Heard as far north as Idaho and as far south as Utah County. That's right. We were doing our morning show when both Dina and I heard that big boom. And you see a little something right there on your screen. Many people speculating about just what it was. Fox 13 News reporter Mythili Gooby joins us with what experts say happened and how people who heard the boom felt about it. Mythili. People across Utah were startled by the loud boom this morning. It was all over social media. There was commotion about it. We got calls to our newsroom and chatter about what this mystery sound was all about. The answer, a meteor in the sky miles above us. That's the sound of a mysterious sonic boom from around 8.30 a.m. Saturday morning. I actually thought part of my tree had broken off and hit my house. So I, that's why I went out and I started looking around and I was completely confused. So it was a relief to find out it was something else. <laughs> I have experienced many earthquakes and um, so because everything shakes, the, ha the house, the, um, the walls, and definitely it was not that case here, just a big sound. Soon after the sound, Governor Spencer Cox tweeted that it wasn't an earthquake or military related event. Sound didn't decay like a normal sound. It went on and on, kind of like thunder rolling. The boom was actually caused by a meteor. Here you can see the flash of light race across the sky. Robert Lunsford with the American Meteor Society says it's rare to hear the sound created by a meteor. Your normal meteor is only the size of a, a, a pea or a small pebble. Uh, this this particular object was probably the size of a beach ball. What this one was probably like was something like this guy, right? So you've got a big chunk of rock flying through space, and sometimes they even break up and then you can get multiple booms. That's why when the meteor came through the Earth's atmosphere, it pushed on the sound waves resulting in the boom. Well, anything that surpasses the speed of sound, uh, where the air is thick enough to carry sound waves, can create a sonic boom. And, uh, you know, really, the only thing that really does that is, is lightning and uh, a supersonic jet and a meteor. Robert Lunsford says that if you do that, that these are rare instances here in Salt Lake because of our clear skies. Now he does add that if you did hear or see the meteor today, consider yourself lucky. Experts say that if you do see rocks in your yard that you didn't see before, there's a chance that they could be a billion years old straight from the sky. Live in Salt Lake City, I am Maithili Gobi, Fox 13 News, Utah.